Hello and welcome to the Weekend Investing Daily Byte. We are at the cusp of 20,000 and what a way to get there by Nifty. Uh, really a remarkable journey in the last four months. Uh, crossing all beliefs, all projections of Nifty going lower or you know stagnating from 16,800 bank to 20,000. And this comes on the back of, you know, even uh, headwinds from overseas markets, US recession, FII flows drying up, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, news and uh, narratives. And that's why, you know, we keep harping about this fact that don't worry about the narrative. Don't go by what the market men are saying. Just follow the bhav. Bhav Bhagwan che, price is God. And that is what is is uh, really uh, you know guiding the right way of what you're going to buy or what you're going to sell at least that's what we have always believed in and and received reasonable success based on that so coming back to the market uh, market is in fine fatal a bit overbought yes but that's how bull markets uh, moves are uh, you will see some consolidation at some point Right now, uh, it does seem like there is more room to go. The RSI on the weekly Nifty, if one were to ascribe any value to it, is not yet in those overbought zones where Nifty peaked earlier. So, you know, maybe mid-21 or mid-22 when Nifty peaked, uh, we had, uh, uh, sorry, uh, mid-21 and, uh, and, and start of 21. Uh, these were the two highest RSI peaks that we had. Uh, prior to that, we had a mid of mid uh, 20, 2019. Uh, so, so essentially, we've had interim tops made at, at that high of a RSI value on the weekly. And we may again go and hit that in due course, or we are getting close to it at least. So there is some caution if you if you think uh, is required if you are very leveraged on the long side maybe some caution may be required but if you are following a very uh, uh, you know structured strategy like uh, momentum ones that we do there is no 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 action needed actually i mean the market will take care of itself and the strategy will take care of itself nifty heat map is very interesting today uh, you would notice that reliance is showing minus 8% almost so Reliance has not fallen 8%. Uh, Reliance was come geo financial yesterday and today it is X geo financial. So geo financial stock one is to one has been removed out. Nifty today has 51 stocks with one uh, allocation, 51st allocation to geo financial. The price determined by the market in the special session this morning was around 261 odd. Uh, so that remains the fixed price of Geo Financial till it lists in the index. So it will remain in the index if we, even if it takes a month or two months to list. But once it lists, it will be removed from the index within three days of that listing. Now, what will also happen is that some $300 million worth of index money, which is currently, you know, index funds are... Uh, 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 are invested into Reliance, so they would automatically receive the Geo Financial share. And once it re gets removed uh, post listing, they will all have to sell it out. So there is some estimate of 300 or 400 million dollars worth of Geo Financial selling that will come within those three days after listing. And it will be very interesting to see how you know the rest of the index reacts because you will have that much chunk of selling on one counter and all that money has to flow back into the rest 50 counters to you know rebalance the nifty so very interesting uh you know event that is going to happen whenever geo financial lists but nevertheless today we had many stalwarts uh, making large moves so you have itc on the back of news of uh, the itc hotel merger demerger uh, 2.7 percent up also, 6 lakh crores is the new market cap that they have hit. Uh, ITC hotels value on a on a sum of the part basis is not more than I think 
five percent of the total uh, ITC uh, group. So maybe you know market is getting too too much excited about this small event, which is not such a large event. But yes, the, the whole uh, uh, hypothesis of having separate businesses, separate listings for separate businesses is good. It will unlock value. We also hold ITC in several portfolios, so we are happy that this is going up. Uh, Kotak Bank, IT, uh, ICICI Bank, State Bank of India, all doing very well. Two and a half percent on Kotak Bank, two point two percent on ICICI Bank. <clears throat> Maruti uh, re uh, starting its journey up, one point seven percent. I think Maruti is going to be a five figure stock very soon. Uh, Bharti Airtel doing well along with Doctor Reddy's and Sipla. Grassim also doing well, plus two percent. Uh, the big uh, sore losers were I Infosys, but that had run up a lot in the last few days. So that has is only doing profit taking. HCL Tech Ultra Semco down today. Bajaj Finserv also down. Overall, a great day. I think we are moving uh, nicely. Uh, the the breadth of the distribution of gains is very even. Pharma stocks also moving up nicely. Sun Pharma, DV's Lab, Doctor Reddy's, and Sipla, and uh, FMCG also doing well. In fact, Pharma and FMCG are the top. Sectors to gain today, 1.4, uh, 1.5%. Private banking was a laggard in the last week, but it has come back up strongly, 1.2%. Consumption stocks, public sector banks, energy stocks also doing well. For the month gone by, PSU banks still remain the top gainers at plus 11%. IT remains second gainer at 7.7%, although today they lost 0.7%. Real estate of late has been a bit subdued. Uh, metals and commodities, not so good news from China, uh, which impacts uh, metals and commodities more. Uh, also or kind of subdued, uh, but other than that, most sectors doing quite well. So uh, I mean, the market is in a fine fettle as such. Mid caps, another day, another high, 36,900. Nothing really to report there. Small caps also an, a new high at 11,079. Uh, although intraday, we did make a higher high uh, two days back, but you know, every day uh, the closing is higher, uh, which is which is very, very positive. Of course, at some point of time, we will hit some consolidation, but that's OK as long as your strategy can, you know, sustain uh, falls and, and rotate into the right sectors at the right time. Nifty Bank, as we I was mentioning, is the leading indicator for the market. You can see how it created a flag after breaking out from this range of 44,500 came back, retested, created a flag here, and then has sprung up almost 1,500 points uh, in these last four sessions. Extremely strong here. Maybe some consolidation will come around soon. Two stocks in focus that I want to point out, uh, not because we have been holding them and they are uh, multi-baggers for us uh, or, or have, have gained nicely, but uh, because the fact that we usually, what happens is, like for instance, in Polycap, uh, the stock was in a range of 2800 to 2000 to 2800 for almost a year year and a half and then once it broke out uh you know it there was a sudden fall in the stock again so 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 a lot of folks who may have bought here would have got sold here and then once you you know uh, once you've had a bad experience on a breakout you don't take it the next time uh, also many folks who have been bought, who have been caught at these tops uh, would want to get out you know people are very fearful of all-time high in fact uh, that is the reason why momentum works because most people will sell at a at a new high whereas momentum buyers will buy at a new high so you know again that Pareto 80 20 rule will happen that 80 percent people will be fearful whenever a stock hits a new high and 20 percent people in fact much lower than that probably will will take on that risk and, and as I keep repeating like a broken record, uh, you need to get, uh, you know, comfortable with stocks hitting highs. You, you should give up this fear that a stock that is going up is harming you in any way. A stock that is going up is for your benefit. A stock that is going down is harmful and fearful. One should be of that. So you have to reverse that psychology of you know what is going up is bad and what is coming down is good because i can accumulate more but you know don't buy stocks that are going down buy them when they're going up i mean that it is just 
you know it, it, that should come naturally to you you should not become uh, greedy or you should not become happy when your stock is falling that i'll be able to get more because ultimately it will have to go up for you to make money so if it has to go up then might as well buy it then why you know waste opportunity cost of your capital right now sitting in it for next 2 years 3 years 7 years who knows so so this is sort of the message and of course one another message very important message here is and, and, and obviously i don't know what happens to this stock whether whether it will go to 7000 or whether it will drop to 3000 3, but uh, the fact is that a stock that you know moves up rapidly before results and also moves up rapidly after results is usually a very strong contender for a complete re-rating of that stock, which, I mean, it, it kind of says that, you know, people who were accumulating it before the results knew the results, but they were not able to, you know, discount it. They, I mean, their volume was not able to discount it. And, and hence, even after the results, so much more buying volume came that that sell on news or, or whoever was selling at that point of time was completely washed out. So the demand is so strong that you know the supply has just vanished from there and you must look at stocks with the perspective of demand and supply i mean all other narratives are just that they are just narratives at, at the end of the day it is demand and supply if there is going to be supply of stock uh, regardless of what value it has regardless of what whatever narrative is if there is going to be a supply for whatever reason the stock will go down and and and, and you have to bear that then in that case Another stock that uh, we have mentioned several times is Mezagaon Doc. Uh, of course, it has been a fantastic uh, winner for us almost five times. But the idea here that I want to showcase is that you must design your strategy in such a way that whenever there are sharp rises, so when you, you know within three four months the stock went three times. So our strategy, the exit rules, allow more flexibility to the exit whenever there is a sharp rise. Usually, if this rise would have been very, very uh, uh, shallow, then maybe we would have gotten out at 750 itself, 700, 750 somewhere. But because this, uh, this rally from 300 to 900 was kind of exponential, our system also allows more jiggle room for that stock to play around because more the gain, more is going to be, you know, the retracement for it. And once that uh, got taken care of, it, it went 3x again. Now, I don't know if it goes to 3000 or it comes back to 1200, but we will exit whenever the exit rules uh, define. So, so essentially, if you can try to create simple and effective rules, how you're going to buy the stock, how you're going to exit the stock, how much you're going to buy the stock at, how you're going to select the stock, all these rules should be very clear and then just relax and uh, you know do your do your own thing you need not stay in the market for more than 2 minutes a week and 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 uh, you know focus on your main profession on your skills on your other talents or however you wish to spend your life and uh, and have a fun time so this is all i had for today's session do give us a like and a subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye. Investments in securities are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.